The invention of coding began with early thinkers like Leibniz and Babbage, who sought to simplify calculations and automate tasks. Over time, this evolved into complex programming languages that power today's digital world. 1679 Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz Leibniz wanted to simplify how numbers are represented and calculations are done. The decimal system, 0 to 9, was complex for manual calculations, and he was searching for something simpler. Leibniz studied the I Ching, an ancient Chinese text. The I Ching used two states unbroken lines and broken lines. These lines reminded Leibniz of 1 and 0. He thought, if the universe can be understood with two simple states, maybe numbers can too. He believed the universe operated on simple principles, just like existence, one, and nothingness, zero. This philosophical idea encouraged him to reduce numbers to their most basic states. Leibniz realized that using only two digits, one and zero, he could represent any number. This simplicity matched his belief that systems work best when reduced to their fundamentals. Leibniz asked, what if we represent all numbers using just on and off states? That's exactly what modern computers do today with circuits, electricity flowing one or not flowing zero. 1837. Charles Babbage. Babbage was frustrated with human errors in mathematical calculations. In his time, people manually created mathematical tables for navigation, astronomy, and other fields, which often contained mistakes. He was inspired through the Industrial Revolution. Once he visited a factory where a man named Jacquard Loom used punched cards to automate weaving patterns. Then Babbage thought, if machines can weave patterns, why can't they also calculate numbers? He wanted to build a machine that could calculate with similar accuracy, the difference engine. Babbage's journey started with the difference engine, a mechanical calculator designed to solve polynomial equations. It used the method of finite differences to automate the process of generating accurate mathematical tables for fields like navigation and astronomy. This machine was built to reduce errors in manual calculations and laid the foundation for his bigger vision. Later he came up with the analytical engine. While working on the difference engine, Babbage realized it could only handle specific tasks. This inspired him to imagine the analytical engine, a more advanced machine that could store data, acting as memory, follow instructions, programming, and handle a variety of calculations, general purpose computing. He borrowed the idea of punched cards from the Jacquard loom to program the machine introducing the world to concepts that resemble modern computers. These inventions weren't fully realized in his time, but marked a major leap toward the computers we use today. In 1843, Ada Lovelace became the world's first programmer. Back in 1842, she translated an article on Babbage's analytical engine by Luigi Federico Menabrea. But she didn't just translate it, she added extensive notes, three times longer than the original, revealing the machine's untapped potential. Ada recognized that the analytical engine could go beyond arithmetic, envisioning it as a programmable machine capable of executing a variety of tasks. She even wrote the first algorithm for the machine to compute Bernoulli numbers, earning her the title of the first computer programmer. Her revolutionary ideas highlighted the machine's ability to follow algorithms, perform repetitive tasks, and make decisions. From 1930 to 1940, we witnessed the birth of machine code. Early computers were mechanical or used vacuum tubes for basic operations. Programming them involved instructions written in binary, ones and zeros, corresponding to the on and off states of electrical circuits. Programs were input using cards or tapes with holes representing binary digits. It was a tedious, error-prone, and slow process, with no screens or keyboards. Debugging required checking binary code manually. Then, in 1940, assembly language emerged, simplifying machine code. In the 1940s, assembly language made programming easier by replacing binary machine code with mnemonics like ADD for adding numbers and MOV for moving data, which were more readable. Programmers wrote in assembly language, and an assembler converted these instructions into binary machine code for the computer to execute. This had several benefits, such as simplified programming with readable commands, reduced errors, and easier debugging. It also enabled the creation of more complex programs. However, Assembly language was still hardware-specific, meaning programs couldn't be easily used on different machines. 
Despite this limitation, it paved the way for higher level programming languages in the future. In 1950, high level languages began to change the landscape of programming. In 1957, John Backus and the IBM team created Fortran to simplify scientific computing, like simulations and math heavy tasks. It used algebra like expressions such as x equals a plus b and was designed for efficiency with an advanced compiler. Fortran became the standard language for scientific and engineering computations, and is still widely used today for tasks like simulations, weather forecasting, and scientific research. In 1959, Grace Hopper and the Codicil Committee designed COBOL to simplify business applications like payroll, accounting, and inventory. It had English-like syntax, for example, ADD A to B giving C, and focused on handling large amounts of data and creating reports. COBOL was widely adopted by banks, governments, and businesses, and is still used today in legacy systems for financial and administrative tasks. From 1970 to the present, we've seen a modern coding revolution. In 1970, structured programming organized and cleaned up messy code by introducing loops and conditionals, making programs easier to understand, debug, and maintain. The 1980s brought object-oriented programming which simplified complex programs by organizing code into objects containing data and methods. The 1990s saw the rise of the internet, bringing new tools for building websites and online applications, HTML for structure, CSS for design, and JavaScript for interactivity. From the 2000s to the present, we've entered the modern era with specialized languages. Python is used for AI and data science, R for statistical analysis, and Rust for system programming, with a focus on speed and safety. Coding continues to evolve, solving complex challenges in AI, data science, and beyond. The evolution of programming languages shows how we've made coding easier and more powerful over time. In the 1970s we focused on organizing messy code, while the 1980s brought object-oriented programming to manage complex projects better. The 1990s saw languages designed for the internet, making websites and online apps possible. Today specialized languages like Python and Rust help us tackle modern challenges like AI and system programming. This journey reflects our constant effort to simplify coding and solve new problems, opening doors for even greater advancements in the future.